Alrighty guys, it's time to have a chat. Hi guys, I'm Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video than I usually do because I want to have a discussion with all of you, all of you, all of you, that I... I need your help, guys. I have come across a dilemma in my reading life, and I don't know what to do about it. So I am calling on all of you for help. So if you are willing to help me out and get into the nitty gritty of what exactly is occurring, then as always, keep watching. So we're going to start our little chat off with the fact that my reading tastes and books that I have been picking up have changed dramatically within the last year, year and a half. Around the time that I found booktube, or we're gonna, no, we're gonna start somewhere else. Prior to finding booktube, I almost exclusively read romance novels. I will tell you, I love romance novels. They make me very happy. They're simple, easy reads that end with a happy ending every single time, and sometimes that's just what a girl needs in her life is a happy ending. A guaranteed one. So in high school I discovered romance novels specifically when I found a series of books by with a collection of different authors called the Avon True Romance Novels for Teens and I was hooked. I love romance novels. They were easy to read, guaranteed happy endings like I said, and there's just a lot of great things about them. I loved them. And I've mentioned these books on my channel before specifically in an old video in which I give recommendations slash talk about all my favorite romance novels that I've read. I will link that up here for you all if you're interested in seeing, like I said, a very old video. So from that point on in high school and then in college when I did read, which I read a lot less of non-academic works when I was in college for obvious reasons because I was reading academic works, I read romance novels and that trend continued after I graduated from college up until the point that I found booktube in which I discovered literary fiction and just so many book recommendations that I very much went outside my bubble and found some genres that I really really love, some authors I really really love, and so I kind of strayed away from romance novels. And another thing you need to know about me is I almost specifically read historical romance novels. Books like this, that looked like this, and I never read contemporary. I had no desire to, they didn't interest me. There's just something about a historical romance novel in which the gentleman might see a lady's ankle and it's just so scandalous. And I just, I love that charm about it. And so I found booktube and was reading, have been reading, my grammar's been terrible on this. Can you tell that I'm really out of practice still? Just really out of practice still. So I've been reading all these different types of books and as of lately, I have found myself thinking, you know what, I'd really love to pick up a romance novel. Life has been crazy, I haven't been reading as much. What could be better than a just quick, simple, predictable romance novel? So I decided to pick one up. The first of which I mentioned in a recent reading wrap up of mine, and that was To Wet a Wild Lord by Jane Feather. I DNF'd this book. And not just like, oh, I got like 50 pages in and was like, nah, this is not for me. No, 300 pages into a 500 page book and was literally, literally, I kid you not guys, mid paragraph and was like, I literally don't care at all. Within this book, I'm not going to get into what this book's about. Just know that it's a romance. The characters could not decide how they felt about each other. And in the sense, not in the sense of like that they had feelings for the other one, but then they would, they'd be like really mushy gushy because in the mid of bit of this story they get married. That's part of the plot is that they get married and then things progress from there. Where they're like really happy with each other but literally within like paragraphs they're like really aloof from each other for no apparent reason. And I, I, the plot, it was just, I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less. So then I picked up another book and managed to finish this one and I mentioned this one in the wrap up as well, was Tougher Than the Rest by Shirlene Davies. And this book frankly was total trash. Uh, the male protagonist in it, more so than any other romance novel I've ever read, because usually I don't continue reading books like that, but excuse my language, cover children's ears, was a total dick. And that never changed. Not once was I like, oh, he's actually being sweet. No, he was a dick the entire time. 
So this is my dilemma, guys. Have I read too many really awesome books like The Czar of Love and Techno, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, Eleanor Olfant is Completely Fine, anything by Frederick Bachman, that these really incredible books that have incredible character development and amazing story and just really get to your soul, have they spoiled trashy romance novels for me? My so adored trashy romance novels. Now, in these books that I've read, I've not gone back to any romance novels that I really, really, or romance novel authors that I've really enjoyed, such as Sabrina Jeffries, who read, uh, wrote the, Hall, the Hellions of Halstead Hall series, which I absolutely adore, and think back and like, no, those weren't terribly written like the last few books that I've read. But I'm scared to, because I don't want to ruin my opinion of these characters and these stories that I love so much. So my question to you all is, has this happened to you? After broadening your horizons and reading all kinds of different books, different classics, different authors, different genres, and for me really finding literary fiction which is a subject that I can like really sink my teeth into and really makes me think and I feel like I can become a better person by reading books like this because I ask myself questions I wouldn't otherwise have asked. Can I no longer enjoy the romance novels like To Wed a Wicked Prince or I'm dropping books now. Anyway, uh, To Wed a Wicked Prince or just these other books. So I have a stack of books here that I'm hoping will get me out of this rut. None of which are authors that I've read before and maybe that's my problem but like I said I'm scared to pick up authors that I would say that I loved. Um, so I have a Lisa Claypaws here, A Cold Hearted Rake. I don't really remember what it's about but they hate each other essentially and I'm always, always on board for stories where they hate each other. I just find them way better because there's a lot more character development, I find, and their relationship has to grow. Because that was one problem with the Tougher Than the Rest book by Shirley Davies. There was no development of their relationship whatsoever. Literally, they were alone maybe like three times. But all of a sudden, there's this undeniable attraction and she gave herself to him for frankly no reason whatsoever. So I have the Lisa Claypaws, which I've tried to read a book by her before, but one of the characters instantly fell in love with the other one, and I'm just, I'm never on board for that. Like, I'm always on board for people who hate each other and then love each other. I'm not on board for people who love each other right away. Um, I have a Bettina Cron, which is a good day to marry a Duke, which is about America, an American woman who could not find a husband in America, so she came to England, and I always love that and the kind of cultural differences that it plays on that. Um, I have a book out from the library, which is The Handbook to Handling His Lordship by Susan Enoch, and this is a um, story in which the woman has a little bit of a past and a secret and this gentleman wants to find out why. And I actually have a contemporary romance, which I don't usually get, but this was a book of the month pick. And it sounded interesting to me. And now, since having this book, I've learned that uh, Jenny Lawson loves this book. She's the author of Furiously Happy, which you guys probably know I freaking love and was one of my favorite books of last year. Um, and that is Catherine Center's How to Walk Away. Um, and like I mentioned, I don't read a lot of contemporary romances, um, but this one... I'm really hopeful for. This is about a woman who her life just seems to be going perfectly and what I believe is on her wedding day there's a terrible accident and she ends up in physical therapy and her and her fiance gets very mopey and she begins to develop feelings for her really intense curt direct physical therapist and I hope I am a little bit nervous about that because anything with infidelity within a relationship really bothers me. I don't like reading about it. I don't read books in which there is a marriage that someone is keeping something from someone else or a relationship or they're cheating. I just I really, really dislike those. They make me very uncomfortable. Um, so I'm hoping that that isn't the case with this, but I'm definitely going to be giving this one a shot as well. So guys, first of all, if you've made it to these, the end of this very ranty, kind of all over the place video, thank you so much. Um, and thank you for listening. And please, if you had vivid advice or maybe some recommendations for me, if you are a fellow reader, um, send them my way because I'm, my, my reader heart is panicking because these books that have always brought me so much comfort and joy have not been. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm worried about it. I'm very worried about it. 
but I think I've rambled on long enough, especially because this is just like a just word vomit all up in your guys' faces about my panicking. Um, but has this happened to you guys as well with a different genre even like just in general like you found this and then you went back and was like what what did am I reading the same types of books or were, were was my head in the clouds what happened um let's chat about it I desperately need a discussion I need my fellow readers to help me out but if you guys like this video and would like to see more kind of rambly awkward frankly videos for me then let me know that as well as always i love any and all feedback from you guys um and if you like this video like it and if for some reason you're new welcome and want to see more of my face after this video i wouldn't know why then please subscribe but we'll see you in my next video happy reading